What's up? Uh, this is an introduction to our class here online um, for the end of the quarter. So I want to walk through a couple things that you need to keep in mind so that we can be successful. First up, download Pro Tools. Can you see that? Now it's in focus. You got it in your brain. You need to get Pro Tools. I've sent a couple emails out about this already, but we can get you that activation code, but you need to send me some information. Check your email for that. Please download Pro Tools. I know uh, some of you uh, probably want to use some other DAWs, and that's great. I use other DAWs as well, but we all need to be using the same software. Otherwise, things will not translate. If we're talking about compacting sessions or we're talking about how to route uh, internal audio buses to groups with aux tracks. The way that different programs do those things is different. We all need to be on the same page. Learning Pro Tools helps and it will also allow you to work in larger scale studios which very very often are running that DAW. So, Alright, step two and this is more what we're going to be doing each week. We have weekly assignment sheets. They're already up for the first couple weeks of the semester, and I'll be making more. Um, but the, the weekly assignment sheet, which I might refer to as a one sheet, is going to be a reference point for everything else of that week. So you have one place you can go and kind of get an overview of what's happening. This is a really good resource to keep up on a different tab or something so that you can continually go back to it throughout the week as you work through an asynchronous learning uh, style, which might be different. Asynchronous means one student might be working on this on Monday evenings when they have access to the computer. Another student might be going through this on Thursday, and that will relate to something we'll talk about in a little bit as well. And it also means we're not all coming together necessarily at one time. Now, I will try to figure out a good office hour type time online where you know I'll be available and you can come and chat, that sort of thing, and ask questions. Still working out the details there. Let me walk through this assignment sheet real quick. First thing it will have is lectures and key resources. These are things you absolutely need to watch, you need to take notes on, you need to consider, think about. Um, and they will relate to everything else that we're working on that week as well as the key competencies of that course. The second thing it's going to have is your assignment for the week. A um, couple weeks there will probably be two assignments. Uh, and examples that relate to that assignment. So if we're talking about side chain compression across different tracks and different ways to use it, for example in ducking or in like an EDM style thing where you want the bass to move out of the way of the kick drum, um, whatever. Uh, it might have a reference to an external link or video um, that walks through that specific part of the process. And then also in Canvas there will for the assignment be a demo of me walking through the assignment the actual assignment. So in here you might have resources related to parts of it, but there's also a demo, not necessarily on the weekly assignment sheet, um, of me going through the assignment, sometimes quickly and sometimes you know at real time, which can be pretty long. Um, so this is where your, uh, your, your assignment comes in each week that is due by the end of the week on Sunday. Supplemental resources. These are cool things that you should che definitely check out and they will relate to the next thing, well, a thing at the end we'll talk about, discussion questions, supplemental resources. Check them out, read them, enjoy them, get into it. If I'm talking about Pinsato's place, go in there, maybe watch that interview that I've linked to or something that's like an hour long, hour and a half. Make that your evening uh, activity. But go back and check out more. I'm trying to make things that are relevant to that week's study and sometimes tangential to what we're looking at, but important to the industry as a whole. Uh, the last thing I'll have is usually some test prep questions, things to consider. Um, just so you're, like when you read those test prep questions, you should be able to answer those. You shouldn't be like, I don't know what that means. Because if you're doing that, uh, that means you missed something else during the week. The key here is it's your opportunity and it's also your prerogative to actually do the work. I cannot stress that enough. If there's a link, if there's an assignment, you got to do it. If you do it, you're going to learn some stuff, and that's what we're looking for. Next up, there will most likely be a quiz or a test every week. Weekly quizzes and tests, keeping you guys honest, keeping me honest, making sure that the material is relating to the course competencies. Do them, they're linked there. Try not to get ahead and do these early. Try not to wait too late because I will close the quizzes out. Um, 
Some of them are simple. It's just like, do you have understanding? And some of them will make sure you've actually looked at the resources and potentially also the supplemental resources, which is cool because you want to learn. I want you to learn. We can all be professionals together and do cool shit stuff. Beep. I'm not going to edit that. Uh, the last thing you're going to see is discussion questions each week. These are meant to push you a little farther and these will also count towards your weekly participation. This is how you are graded on being and showing up and integrating your thoughts into a larger class. It's not all independent work. We want you guys to come together and work together. And the discussion questions are a way that I figured out to do that. Um, this has been something I've done in classes I've taken online as well as classes I've taught online and it's worked as long as everyone gets involved. There's a couple things you need to know on these. First off, they will absolutely push you to think if you're doing them right. If you come in and you put down two or three sentences, then you will just not get a grade for that week for participation, which is a significant portion of a grade. You need to be thoughtful. You need to write paragraphs. You should have links. Um, for some of these, I've had, I have full examples of what I expect a response to look like. This should be a big project every week and it should be fun. You can do something cool that when your classmates read it, they're like, dang, that is cool. Wow, I didn't know that. And it elicits a response and that is awesome. So this is a place where you can talk, comment, sort of like a social media-esque thing. There's a discussion thread, more like maybe Reddit or something. And, uh, and answer that question. They're open-ended. There's no right answer. There just needs to be a thoughtful, thorough answer. And yes, if I read it and it looks like something was copied and pasted and you're presenting it as your own, I will Google search that stuff and I will, I will write it right there. Hey, I'm removing this. Um, so uh, you need to then write your response to the discussion question and then comment on two other responses from your classmates. Those comments should be thorough and thoughtful. It should show that you've actually read their response. Don't just say, oh yeah, that's great. That's, that's not a response. That will not count. Uh, look at it, say, man, it's really neat that you spoke about um, Quincy Jones. I didn't even know that, that he produced uh, classic big band recordings in the 1960s. Wow, this is amazing. Great work. Have you seen this link where he worked on Off the Wall with Michael Jackson? What? Oh, yeah, and he did The Wiz. Oh, I didn't know he did that movie. That's crazy. He wrote all the scores for that? Yeah, and a bunch of them he wrote in one night. Man, I didn't know any of this. Thank you so much for your response. Also, here's a question. Did you come across blank, 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 blank? Be thoughtful. Get involved. Work with your classmates, and you'll all have a better educational experience. That's what this is about. So, you, res you write a response, and you respond to two. Now, you might go, what if I'm first? Then there's nothing to respond to. Right. Come back later in the week, check on it. And as people add responses, you'll be able to, you'll, as they add responses, you'll be able to respond to those new posts. So get in there early, get something down so you get critical and thoughtful feedback from your classmates and be involved with the larger discussion about all of us moving forward in the industry and thinking and using our brains to be better um, and be professionals. So last thing. Communication. Email is good, but realize I am not, and you are probably not, checking that email 24 hours a day. So if you want a quick response, online learning is not where that happens in general. Okay? But all of us, including me, need to check our email every 24 hours for the school. Don't Leave this off till Friday and then freak out because you've got 50 emails. And it's hard. I do the same thing. I'm like, ah! Oh. Email is a great way to communicate with me as well as for me to communicate with you. Now, if you look at the syllabus, you also have my cell phone number. So if you want to send me a quick text, awesome. And when I figure out when those office hours will be there, will, will be held, which will probably I'll put in announcements, that is a time when I can give you immediate feedback. And we're still working out some of the details on how we do that and if it's a video chat or whatnot. So like, that's why I'm not 100% clear on that yet. Um, but hopefully by, by next week when we all get going and we all start class together. So thank you. Uh, grab that trumpet sample from the beginning. Turn it into something cool. Send it my way. I'll talk to you and see you online soon.